Hi everyone, Curry here with your weekly oracle card reading. This reading is for May 28th to June 3rd. And this week I'll be using the Angel Therapy Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. So I'm going to shuffle my deck from now. And I'm going to ask the angels if they can give us any messages on how we can heal from the intense energy that has been around us on um, these couple of few weeks. And I'm going to draw three cards. One for Monday and Tuesday. The second one for Wednesday and Thursday. And the third one for the weekend being Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I actually had the first card fly out at me. So I'll place that down. Okay. Second card. And then the final card. Okay. So for Monday and Tuesday, the angels say, Ascended Masters. Powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. So the angels are saying that for Monday and Tuesday, we should work with the Ascended Masters to help heal from the energy that has, this intense energy that has been around us recently. Um, a great healer that you can work with who is non-denominational is Jesus, and he brings wonderful healings and wonderful miracles. So work with the Ascended Masters to help with this intense energy that's been around us recently um, to help dissolve and to start healing um, bringing healing energy into our surroundings and inside ourselves. Wednesday and Thursday, the angels say, mediumship. You have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. So now, the angels are saying for Wednesday and Thursday to work with our departed loved ones, um, friends, family members, people that really we had a strong connection with in the physical realm. Um, so much different from the Ascended Masters. So we're more able to connect with our departed loved ones on Wednesday and Thursday for advice, for healing, and how we can heal from some of the intense energy that is around us. So it's a big difference from Monday and Tuesday in terms of vibration-wise. For example, um, mediumship card for the departed loved ones. Departed loved ones, remember, work on a very dense vibration. Um, not as dense as us human beings. Um, they're at, I would say, let's say a third level. Um, so if you think of a scale, the very bottom would be us humans who are close to Earth. And then you'd have the next level, which would be the elves and the fairies. And then the next level would be um, the departed loved ones. The next level would be the ascended masters. Um, guardian angels, next level would be archangels, and then the very top would be God, um, the Holy Spirit, and you know our oneness, I should say. So those are the levels just to kind of give you uh, an idea. So we're going from a middle level talking with the Ascended Masters and getting help to heal, and then in the middle of the week we're going down a level to talk with departed loved ones and getting messages of love and healing from them. And then finally for the weekend we have Vacuum Away Fear. Call upon Archangels Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, this situation, and everyone involved. So now the angels are saying, okay, move to the next level and ask for help from the Archangels Michael and Raphael to help vacuum away any of that fear that has been clustering around us, that's clustering in our bodies. Um, just having them come and wipe it all away. And I can guarantee you that this week it'll be really, really nice, peaceful energy. We'll have a sense of rest and recuperation and um, rejuvenation. So if you work with the Ascended Masters in the beginning of the week, then work with your departed loved ones in the middle, and then at the end in the weekend, working with the Archangels Michael and Raphael, um, you will be very clear of any intense energy that has been surrounding us lately. So you have a really interesting week ahead of you, as do I, and um, it is going to be a fun week. I feel that it's going to be a very nice week, and it's going to really help people to reconnect with 
some of the ascended masters and departed loved ones and angels that we have not really connected with um, recently. So fear not if you haven't been hearing your angels or you haven't been seeing any departed loved ones. They are there. If you um, haven't been hearing or seeing your angels, maybe you're trying a little too hard, just relax, quiet your mind, and have some meditations. But in fact, the angels are telling me that this week is all about meditation. So if you can, take 5, 10, 15, half an hour out of your day to really just sit down, quiet your mind, do a really nice meditation, working with the Ascended Masters in the beginning, working with your departed loved ones in the middle of the week, and then going and working with the Archangels, Michael and Raphael, in the end, in a meditative state. And I can guarantee you that your energy will change. Even if you don't feel it, your energy will change. And just start to notice the signs because the signs are out there and they come in many different shapes, forms. They can be in people. They can be in music. They can be within yourself. So just, you know, keep your eyes open and your heart open to receiving the messages and receiving change. So I send you all lots of love, light, and I send you all lots and lots of healing energy this week. I will talk to you next week, and I hope um, you guys have looked at my other video blog about the Are You Ready for Abundance? Starting June 1st, I'm going to be doing the Abundance Challenge, which is based off the John Randolph Price method of abundance. So I'm very excited to be doing a 40-day program with all of you YouTube viewers as well as Facebook viewers. And feel free to come along with me on a journey of abundance. So I will hopefully talk to you then. So you can check out my latest video that will be posted on May 31st with a little orientation and intro of the Abundance Challenge that I will be starting on June 1st, 2012. I will see you all then. Love and light. Namaste.